Welcome back everybody, Troy here, we're cooking in the kitchen I thought I'd do a dish for y'all, uh, my, my, my version of a uh, cabbage roll and uh, I am filming this on the new camera that my beautiful wife Karen surprised me with Thank you honey, I love you You're welcome baby Merry Christmas to me <laughs> Alright, let me show you what we got Alright guys Got some hamburger meat, just ground uh, 80-20, I'm sorry, this is 90-10, uh, ground sirloin. You can use white rice, brown rice, whatever you want. Uh, I'm using this uh, parboiled natural long grain rice by Zatarain's. Gonna need some kind of topping, gonna need some uh, sauce. I may use this, I may use just some pasta sauce for like pizza and stuff, I don't know. A little garlic. I'm gonna season the meat up with some Italian seasoning. And a big old head of cabbage. So I need to brown the meat. I'm going to steam the cabbage a little bit, get it soft. We'll be back. Alright, as I was say, I got my ground meat going. Back here, I got some water boiling with a little butter and salt in there for some rice. On this side, I've got my cabbage sitting in a little steam basket. It's going to steam just a little bit until it's kind of al dente. Um, wife decided she wanted some onions in her meat, so I'm going to throw in some onions. Nice addition. You can put anything you want in here, guys. There's my garlic. Put a little garlic in there. Yeah. Teaspoon and a half, that'd be good. Salt and pepper. Fresh crack. Black. There you go. Okay. Throwing a little bit of crushed red pepper. There you go, Keith. Not a whole lot. And we got some ah, Italian seasoning. For any other seasoning you want in here, like I said, you can put in here whatever you want. Let's get a lot of it in there. I like this stuff, it's good. Right. Now, we're going to finish browning this up. We're going to wait for the cabbage to get done. We're going to uh, put some rice on here shortly when that water boils. We'll be back. Alright everybody, got my meat done. I did have to add some salt, pepper, a little bit of uh, garlic, some more red pepper, and a little bit of Italian seasoning to just kind of spruce it up just a little bit. But it's pretty tight right now, so we're going to, and it's all cooked up, so we're going to put it in this bowl right here. Or some of it anyway. My rice is done. Let's put some of our rice in there. And I fluffed up the rice just a little bit. rest of this meat in there. Boy, it sure does smell good, y'all. Mm, mm, mm. Wish I could smell this look. Mm. Smell that? Oh, check that out. There you go. Mm, good stuff. Now just mix all this together here. Kind of like a dirty rice, or uh, as Sean would say, uh, Rice casserole or rice, what's it called? Rice dressing. I'm sorry, y'all. Rice dressing. We call it dirty rice. Mix this all about, and uh, we are taking the leaves off the cabbage, the core of the cabbage. We're kind of separating the leaves out so we can use them as individual wraps. And uh, again, you want those cabbage roll leaves just kind of al dente, you don't want them super soft. You can boil them, steam them, microwave them, however you want to do it. And since we incorporated some rice in here, just mixed up this rice, you do want to taste this a little bit. It tastes pretty good right there. Okay, now what we usually do, add just some tomato sauce, um, spaghetti sauce actually. I like this burrito, bram, tomato and basil. Put some of this if I can open it. Hang on, it's being difficult. All right, we got that opened up now. Now, this is a 24 ounce jar, and I don't want it real soupy, so I'm going to use a part about maybe a third of it. Man, that stuff's good, okay. And also, I got this Parmesan cheese. 
uh, Parmigiano Reggiano. Shred it up. Parmigiano Reggiano. Oh yeah, Parmigiano Reggiano. Parmigiano Reggiano. Put some of this up in there. Mix this in there. Anyway, we're just gonna mix all this together, y'all. And this is gonna be our stuffing. And if you think it needs more seasoning of any kind, more flavoring, go by all means go ahead and add it, man. Everybody's got different tastes. This is just uh, the way I like to do it. But it's your kitchen, cook it the way you like to. If you want more sauce in there, put you some more sauce in there. There's no right or wrong way to do this. Boy, that looks good though, I'll tell you. Mm-hmm. Let's give it another little taste here. Mmm. Lordy Lord. That's good, y'all. Okay. We're gonna roll up them uh, cabbage rolls. Alright, everybody, I'm gonna show you how to do a couple of these. Basically, you get your uh, your cabbage leaves, and uh, we're gonna roll roll up some of this good mixture right here. I'll put it in here so y'all can see. And again, they don't have to be perfect. Just put some in there. Maybe kind of tie up the end a little bit so it doesn't come out. Kind of like you're doing a burrito or something, maybe. That's one way you can look at it. And this is a greased 9 by 13 baking dish. Okay, I'm going to do one more. Man, this is good, y'all. Man. Go roll up the sides. Perfect, just like that, y'all. That's what you're looking for. All right, I'm gonna do the rest of these. Fill this pan up, and we'll be be right back, y'all. This is what we got after we rolled everything up. And again, I've got some of this uh, tomato basil burrito sauce left over. I'm just gonna pop some of this on top of this. Man, this is really good stuff, y'all. It yeah. sure is. Yeah. Me and Karen both tried it. Man. It tastes delicious. Sure is. <coughs> Everything's cooked, so we really just need to kind of warm it through. And again, I've got this uh, Parmesan Reggiano. Sprinkle this on top. And we're going to warm up some bread. You said we got some bread, honey? Yeah. All right, we're going to warm up some French bread or some Italian bread, some kind of. Have it to go with this. Oh, it's gonna be good, y'all. I'm sure we're here. Y'all know I like my cheese. I love this baby up. Here we go. Okay. Alright, that's it. We'll take a picture of that and we'll throw it in the oven. Cook this at 350 for probably 25 30 minutes, you know, until it's, until it's melted on top and looks good. All right, folks, our dish is done. I'm gonna have you take a look at it here. This is what we're eating tonight. Sure does smell great. Uh, I know that feeling's good. Me and Karen been sampling on it a little bit. Let me give me a little bit here and show you what it looks like. All right, everybody, there you go. Put a little of that rice dressing in the middle there, dirty rice. Mm. I have so good. Get a little bread to go with that. That's hunting, y'all. Appreciate you joining me. Hope you enjoyed this new view from a new camera. Thanks again, Karen. Welcome, babe. Gotta be for white lover. And um, hope y'all make this dish, man. It's really good. Thanks again for everybody that checks out my channels, all my old subs, all my new subs. You got any suggestions, let me know. I'll see what I can do to hook you up. Till next time, y'all be good.